Here at Carver Elementary School building, Candace, there is a solid group of hardworking teachers. And despite this virtual world they're all working in right now, they call themselves a family and they certainly haven't given up during this pandemic. I know now I can do anything because of this virtual learning situation. First, experts in education. Now, savvy in everything technology. Just starting out, we, we did not know what to expect. Passionate and dedicated, these Carver Elementary educators have spent an entire school year teaching online. And I thought I was prepared, and then school started and I realized I wasn't as prepared as I thought. It's definitely allowed me to be creative. Some admit navigating a virtual education has been tough. Can you imagine putting a kindergartner online by themselves with any help or support? And that's what we had. Virtual education has forced some teachers to stay logged online from 7 a.m. until 10 at night, and their jobs don't stop at the computer screen. They're having their Zoom meetings, they're planning their lessons, they're reviewing the curriculum. From the home visits to the daily phone calls, which we know happen on a regular basis during school, but it's heightened due to the uh, pandemic and being on virtual learning. Who is excited to go back to the classroom? Who is ready? Who is willing? And then who is still hesitant? I have mixed emotions. I'm willing uh, because I'm called to be an educator. I teach kindergarten and I feel that like those children need more hands on and that one-on-one -on -one attention. So I'll be glad when I'll be the first one on the bus to get back in there. The more we spent in this virtual world, the more I accepted that we need to be back in school with provisions in place and schools being up to par and vaccines on deck. I think that we will be happy to return to the building. And these teachers say being forced to teach virtually this year has led them to an appreciation for being inside the classroom here on West Lee Street, an appreciation for the resiliency of their students. They say learning is still happening, even if it's all online.